Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Everton 1, Manchester United 2. This is your match reaction. You're looking at the GOAT. He's right here. 700 goals now for a club's career. 450 for Real Madrid. 144 for Manchester United. 101 for Juventus. 5 for Sporting Lisbon. Cristiano is the GOAT. I wanted to address that in the beginning. Now let's move on to the match and talk about what just happened here. I mean, we started off really, really bad. Um, it will be, I believe, scored in the first half, like in two minutes. The defending was awful. I think Casemiro loses the ball and we concede. But then <clears throat> our confidence didn't drop. Uh, we continue to play. Uh, Anthony got us on the score sheet and draw the game level. Uh, and after that, Martial had to come off with it because of an, uh, an injury. And uh, Cristiano came on for Martial. And of course, you already know what he did. He came on and he actually uh, scored the winning goal. But this is a massive win, guys. It's the most important. Uh, the most important thing is to just get the win and get the three points, which is exactly what we did. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run down uh, quickly the players' rating here. Uh, this is this is the players' rating that I have. So David De Gea for me. I'll start with David De Gea. David De Gea was uh, six point eight. I don't think he did anything uh, wrong. Yes, players. I mean, some fans might might blame him for for the first goal, but he he can't save that. He cannot save that. It's like right in the corner. I don't think he could take the blame for that. He had no chance uh, for that one. Delot, he's been sloppy in the first half. I've seen a lot of missed passes, uh, but he coped well uh, in the second half. And I would give him a seven. I think he deserves a seven. David De Gea, I forgot to mention, 6.8. He hasn't, hasn't done much except for that last minute save, which was a huge save. I mean, it could have been a draw. This game could easily have been a draw if David De Gea doesn't make that save. So uh, applause to David De Gea for making that save. And that, hence, that's the reason why I gave him 6.8. Uh, Lindelof, 7.3. Not really tested uh, by uh, Neil Mope, but had one uh, one of his easier encounters at Everton. I think he was pretty much comfortable. We dominated the ball. He wasn't tested that much, in my opinion. But I would give him a solid seven because I I, I do think that the team has actually played well. Um, moving on to uh, Martinez. So Martinez, he dealt with Mope uh, robustly. Uh, had had enough time, enough time on the ball to play it adventurously and didn't waive uh, any sort of chance for uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin when he came on. So he was actually decent. Uh, of course, we had to put in uh, Rafael Varane to get more protection when Everton were just throwing everybody in. The goalkeeper was moving in as well. So we had to, Rafael Varane had to come on, but other than that, the entire game, I think Martinez was solid. Uh, Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw again, didn't make any mistake. No, he attacked regularly. Uh, his end product in the final third was blunt too often, but uh, he improved as the game went along. So I would just give him 6.5 to 7. Um, Casemiro, Casemiro is a, a mixed one, in my opinion. He, he was pickpocketed for the first goal uh, and missed a setter with a header as well. Uh, but his, his, his made up for that, in my opinion. If you look at the Cristiano goals, it's him who actually charges to the defender. He takes the ball and then he, he passes to Cristiano and Cristiano was one-on-one uh, with the goalkeeper and he finished. So Casemiro has a mixed game for me, but I would, I would give him... Uh, 7 out of 10. They're giving him here 8.2. I don't think he has 8.2. I think it's 7 out of 10. Uh, Christian Eriksen, he was um, and improved on his and on his recent performance. Although Everton were uh, curiously basically letting him have the ball and dictate the game. He was 
stride. He basically was trying to string a pass between the, the 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 middle of the park and the offense. He did he did okay, uh, but he was average. I saw him uh, miss hit a couple of crosses. Six uh, six point five for me uh, for Ericsson. Anthony, his best performance, of course, in a United shirt. Uh, took his goal superbly in that first half. It was more direct with his play, uh, but he was quieter in the second half. So seven out of ten for me. Bruno Fernandez, quietly uh, effective uh, behind the striker. He sees the. Uh, uh, an opportunity when uh, Guiz, I believe, it was Adricia Guiz uh, made it a, a, an error to turn the defense into an attack for that equalizing goal. If you actually watch it back, the equalizer came because of that. Um, Marcus Rashford. So I'll give him a six, Bruno. Here it says seven. I'll, gi- I'll definitely give him a six. Marcus Rashford for me. Uh, he was bright. And should have claimed an assist for Casemiro if Casemiro had missed, uh, had the measure for uh, Coleman, and had the goal disallowed. Basically, he was threatening Coleman in defense, but the goal should have counted. I don't know how they disallowed the goal, to be honest. What do you guys think? Leave your comment section. Is it a handball? Is it not a handball? What do you guys think? I thought it was not a handball. I thought the, 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 the goal should have counted, in my opinion. Uh, Anthony Marcel assisted the first goal. Hasn't done much after that because he was injured. He had to be replaced by Cristiano. So he was just going to get an average six for me. Hasn't done anything wrong, but he, uh, it's unfortunate he had to come off. Uh, come off. Uh, what else? So Cristiano. Of course, Cristiano for me was man of the match. He scored his 700th goal. A uh, uh, club goal uh, to put United two one up. Basically, um, he flicked on uh, for Rashford to score. And in the previous game, I think Cristiano assisted Rashford against Omnia. Uh, and in this game, I expected him to actually start the match, but Eric Ten Hag decided to bench him, which uh, turned out to be, I think, a wrong decision because he should have started. And he's proven time of, uh, time after time that when you play Cristiano, he's going to score a, a goal for you. Yes, he might not do a lot of pressing for you, but the game is not just about pressing. The game is also about scoring. And give him a chance and he will score a goal. Let the other people do the defensive work. Let other people do uh, the pressing. I mean... He can also press. Don't tell me he can't press 5, 10 yards. He can do that, but just don't ask him to chase back, back and forth every single minute. He cannot do that. And that's the reason why the likes of Rashford, Ilanga, were playing ahead of him, in my opinion. Scott McTominay also came on. I think he was booked, and he was probably lucky not to get sent off, but he hasn't done anything. He came on like uh, 10 minutes ago before full-time. I would just give him an average five. Uh, Varane also came on. Like I mentioned, I'll give him a six because he did have one uh, huge header clearance uh, in, the, in the 90th minute. Everton could have scored in that time. So uh, I'll give him a six for that. I'm going to rate the manager. The manager for me, the way we started the game was uh, I, didn't disagree, I didn't agree with the lineup. Uh, and we were down one nail, but we adjusted uh, quickly. So I had to give him, I had to give him an applaud here. He would get seven out of ten for me, ten hag. But I wasn't actually in agreement with the lineup that I saw when it came out. Uh, but yeah, so that is it. That is my uh, match reaction. My man of the match again is Cristiano. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Who is your man of the match? And what do you think? Uh, who should uh, who should start in our next game? Would you start Cristiano again, or would you go with uh, Marcus Rashford? Uh, it's a difficult question to answer. Of course, we haven't seen Sancho in this match, but hopefully, we get to see him in the next match. But yeah, that is my match reaction. Come on, United! Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.